Hello everybody, my name is Chris, and today we're going to be using a Raspberry Pi to play Minecraft, so let's get into it. So obviously this isn't a Raspberry Pi, this is my main computer as you can see right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to go ahead and switch this over. So I'm not going to be using my wireless mouse because that's what's being used to control my main computer right now, but we're going to use my main keyboard and this office mouse that I typically use for it. I'm going to go ahead and plug in our monitor connector. I'm going to go ahead and plug in the type C cord. And now our Pi is on, just need to go ahead and connect the keyboard, that one in, and there we go. We have a Raspberry Pi connected. So basically what you're seeing on screen right now is the tutorial and like code process. Okay, so we're in Raspberry Pi OS, and something you're probably gonna wanna have is an app called Pi Apps. I'll leave a link in the description on like basically what commands to run and stuff to get Pi Apps. But now we have Pi Apps installed, we're gonna go ahead and open it, there we go. So we go ahead over to games and we have options. We have Minecraft Bedrock and Minecraft Java. To test it off, we're gonna start with Minecraft Bedrock because that seems like it'd be like the easier version to install. All right, so as you guys can see, Minecraft is now installed. So we can go ahead and close that back into here and it'll show us we have Minecraft Bedrock installed as you can see by a little check mark there. So we're gonna get more of a close up view of this. So now if we exit out, we can go over here into games and you'll see Minecraft Bedrock Launcher. Now I've tried this before in the past and I've never really like gotten it to like work, but new update lets it work. Now when you first ever like get into this, it's gonna ask you to like sign into your account on the micro or on the Google Play Store, that way you can actually download Minecraft, but you can also do APKs, it kinda depends. But I already signed into my Google Play account, so we're gonna go ahead and test this. We're gonna keep it at the default and we're gonna play. The real question is, will anything actually launch? Because I've tried this in the past because I've had this video idea for a while now, but for some reason it just never actually, it, oh, well there we go, it launched. And we have a little FPS counter on the screen here. All right, so we're in Minecraft now, we're gonna go ahead and do that. Um, can we take this into full screen? So if you guys don't know what this is, this is basically the, um, phone version of Minecraft, or as other people might know it as, it's the Windows 10 edition, which, mm, it's not like PC Minecraft, but it, it's a very like low version of Minecraft that's easy to run. So, with that being said, I don't actually see any sort of like <laughs> full screen mode, which I find kind of weird, so we're just going to ignore it, we don't really need it, but let's go ahead go into this world that I already tested oh and those numbers at the top of the screen do not look that pleasant oh look at how choppy this is we have seven FPS that's kind of funny um let's see what we could do to actually get this a little bit higher <laughs> render distance is as low as I can get we're gonna go ahead and turn off all these like high graphic options I think that's about it for this edition. Okay, we're at like 15. <laughs> that brought us up like twice the FPS. I mean, it's playable. I just wouldn't really say this is enjoyable, especially like literally night. We have like t less than 20 FPS. This definitely wouldn't be like enjoyable but if you're just like playing and this is your last resort I could see this working it's very laggy I'm actually kind of surprised this is like the version of Minecraft that's supposed to be like not laggy <laughs> yeah we have 13 16 FPS <laughs> Okay, that, that's enough fun of games. Okay, so we're gonna get into the part that you guys are probably actually waiting for, which is Minecraft Java on this 
Raspberry Pi. So let's go ahead and close this. For some reason, it's kind of like lagging. I guess it's trying to stay alive. Close. Close again. Do we have to restart the Pi? Is it actually like that laggy? All right, here we go. We're back in the Raspberry Pi OS, which is Raspbian. And let's go ahead and try to launch Minecraft. So as you guys have seen, back in Pi apps, you might have noticed that we also have Minecraft Java. So let's go ahead and install this. And as you can see here, um, it kind of gives you like some information about how to get 60 FPS in Minecraft, which it kind of depends on your configuration. So if we go over here to this folder I created, it kind of gives me a list of the commands that I really need to actually launch Minecraft. So we're going to go ahead and minimize that. And let's go ahead put in the commands and this should theoretically launch the launcher so if you've ever played minecraft before you know that you pretty much just want to use optifine so we have the 1.16.2 version of optifine there we go minecraft's actually launching okay so some things you want to do in minecraft when you first like mess with it is you probably want to like turn everything like as low as you can get it so we're going to turn this up we're going to turn fps max animations all off details we're going to turn clouds off we're going to turn pretty much everything off and then we're going to actually jump into a game so I did pre-create a world just because I didn't want to wait for like five minutes while I created a world on camera. So we're loading into one that's already been loaded up and hopefully we can actually play. Oh, mouse cursor is gone. There we go. We're in full screen and we're getting about <laughs> six, seven, nine, eleven. Very low FPS. One thing that we can do is go over here and turn full screen on the lowest possible full screen setting. Which quality wise would be 640 by 480. And there we go. Look at this. We have 38 FPS, 40 FPS, 34. This is actually a lot faster than I was expecting it to be when I changed it to that. So you guys might be wondering, how did you just do that? Basically, I turned the resolution down to like a fourth or a fifth of what it used to be. And now we're getting like around 30 FPS, 35. If we look up in the sky, it's like 96, 80 set. What is this? So, okay, and what if we want to get even more performance? Like, there is something that I did have planned. This is, I can't even see it because of the freaking full screen. This is a 4-bit texture pack. So basically, we load this, and Minecraft basically runs at 16-bit textures, we're going to change this to a fourth of that resolution so we don't have to render in as many pixels. And there we go. We have 4-bit textures on. We're playing at 480p resolution. And we're getting 96, 83, 60 average FPS. Look at that, guys. That's pretty freaking cool. And I, I still had more stuff planned for like how to get even more FPS, but hey, look at that. We have 90 FPS on a Raspberry Pi 4. I mean, granted, we have to like deal with a couple things, but 90 FPS on a Pi 4, that's pretty freaking amazing. So going back into the launcher, I did want to do one more thing, which was seeing if we could get like more RAM added into minecraft so i'm gonna up this three gigs we have four gigs on the pi so hopefully this does work if not we can still try uh, well that didn't work um cannot reserve enough space so we're gonna try two gigs which should hypothetically work
Huh? It didn't just instantly crash? Okay, look at that. We were over 100 FPS for a second. Um, keep in mind, pressing F3, which is how you see your FPS, does actually bring your FPS down a little bit more because it's not supposed to be like counting how much FPS you have because it kind of like takes up more FPS doing so. Displaying all this constantly changes the stuff. But, you know, we're sitting around like a mid like 70 FPS, 75. And I think overall for like a Raspberry Pi, any, even like 30 FPS would be good. But we're sitting at like 75 on average. We haven't really dipped below 60 in a while. And we even go above 100 every once in a while. So that's pretty cool. All right, guys. So we we did it. We got Minecraft to work on a Raspberry Pi. And it wasn't that bad in the Java version, at least. Um, the Minecraft Bedrock Edition version wasn't very good at all. That 7 to 12 FPS. But in java we ended up getting it to 60 to 75 fps on average even at hitting like 115 at some point so it's pretty cool if you guys did enjoy the video go ahead and hit the like button and be sure to subscribe to check out you know more videos on my channel and yeah stay tuned for saturday's video and i'll see you all in the next one peace out guys